Hello everyone, this is Parata here and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 3 in Melbourne where I am solo travelling here in this uh, city of uh, Victoria State. Today was the most awaited day of my life because I would be seeing penguins in real life. So I've seen penguins but uh, they were in a zoo and now I do not promote going and visiting zoos because it's uh, animal abuse, they are confined to a space which is not natural to their habitat. And here today from a day trip from Melbourne, I will be seeing penguins in the natural habitat in person in front of me, which has been my lifelong dream as long as I remember while, you know, since the time I was in school. I went to Phillip Island today and uh, it was a day trip from Melbourne. The tour picked me up from my hostel and uh, it was in Russell's Mantra opposite Expert Hotel where I was staying and uh, they were on time. I had time to grab my hot chocolate from 7-Eleven. Now uh, one of the benefits of doing a guided tour is uh, on the way to Phillip Island where we are going to see penguins. They come only after the sun is set to their uh, burrows and their houses here on the Phillip Island. On the way, the, uh, the guide, they took us to a lot of places and today you are going to travel with me to those places. I booked this uh, day trip from Get Your Guide and I have linked it in the description below. So if you guys are visiting this place, you can book it through the link given in the uh, box. The tour picked me up at 7 a.m. and this day trip was of 12 hours. The tour also dropped me to the same location where they picked me up from, thereby making it a very hassle-free day event for me. Today as well, I got very lucky to get a seat beside the driver, getting 180 degree views of this amazing Melbourne countryside. And we moved on to our first stop for the day, that was Moonlit Sanctuary, which is run by an individual and he helps all these injured birds and animals and protects them from any harm possible please use this insect repl uh, repellent before entering this place here is kangaroo food for which i paid two to three australian dollars and you can feed wallabies and kangaroos here in this sanctuary my first job was seeing a koala you had to pay extra 10 to 20 australian dollars for this experience where you can stand beside them pet them and be so close to them for at least two to five minutes and obviously there'll be a guide beside you telling you and teaching you the do's and don'ts of uh, being with them ethically this is the australia's national bird emu another beautiful bird in sighting in their natural area this is a wallaby and it came to me and ate some food before it left. Here are a lot of kangaroos basking in the glory of sun. They had this amazing natural lake where all these birds and animals come to quench their thirst. I next saw dingoes. These are usually like dogs but they are obviously different. I saw Tasmanian Devil, I saw Wombats, so many Australian indigenous animals and it was really amazing. And we stopped here for lunch. They had a place to refill the water as well. So you need not pay anything extra. Luckily or unfortunately, this was the last vegetarian vegan roll. That was the only thing left. So ensure you guys are carrying some snacks with you in these day trips without fail if you're a vegetarian. This place also had some cute stuff to buy and purchase. Look at these fridge magnets, some $3. The keychain in the previous clip was 7 Australian dollars. They have socks, they have caps, teddy bears, everything ranging from... Uh, three to ten to fifty dollars australian dollars 
this is how that individual also supports and helps the animals with these funds i found this interesting ginger beer here and this was my lunch view it was little cold june 2022 i think 10 to 15 degrees from one land we were crossing into another land i hope you've seen the previous video where i explain why there are restrictions with respect to getting food etc into australia because during colonization few britishers got foxes on this philip island and they ate a lot of penguins over a period of years people realized this and they started a program wherein to save these penguins because these little grey penguins are found only in this place in the entire world so the foxes had to be killed off the guide from go west tours from get your guide booking told us a lot of stories about the history indigenous people colonization animals flora fauna and we also spotted kangaroos from our bus so keep your eyes and ears open while you are traveling with them here at our next stop is pyramid lookout point where we walked along the coast of this beautiful pacific ocean no words can describe the beauty of this ocean really we were here for some 10 to 15 minutes where we enjoyed this coastal walk at this lookout point the board walk helped ease the walk and uh, it was very easy there were no difficulties at all for whatever age you are look at that triangle behind me that's why it's called pyramid lookout moving on to our next stop that is nubis center just look at this view man just it's beautiful so basically in this information center there are scientists who do research in uh, preserving and keeping the endangered penguins alive and ensuring that their population is increasing and the ones alive are healthy you can join their program and there are a lot of options available here if you want to stay for more time these souvenirs were priced around 10 to 20 australian dollars and i literally wanted to take all of them home these are some towels and there are a lot of options available and sure you carry cards because they do not take cash here is nobies outside this center and well australia now you are talking about the danger bhale hi ho wo non venomous snake hai be very careful on these board walks that you do not stamp on this snake i did not spot one but you just be careful they say that there are a lot of fairy penguins also here and i just happened to spot one of them from very far middens is this place where uh, grass and everything is uh, here this aboriginal indigenous people find it disrespectful if you stamp or step on this grass so ensure you walk on the board walk only it was extremely windy and damn cold 10 to 15 degrees but because of lot of winds it was getting difficult i saw this weird kind of bird which looked like somewhere in between a duck and a pigeon but it was really fascinating to see something really different and with the sunset making it even prettier this board walk is somewhere around a kilometer and you will take 20 to 25 minutes to and fro but i took more time because i was busy clicking pictures every corner is so beautiful and coming to the final stop of uh, this nobis place nobis blow hole here how they have explained how the blow hole works and this is the spot which can be definitely be seen with the naked eye and on the left side i was graced with this gorgeous gorgeous pacific ocean waves these tiny little waterfalls 
and brilliant white waves this was really meditative after taking a washroom break here and getting on the bus moving to our the show stopper of the day that is the penguin parade philip island the bus stopped here and we had to walk for almost a kilometer ensure you remember this number that you see number 3 wherever you have you are parked because i got lost while returning there were no lights and ensure that you are with your guide and you have your guide's number after exiting the center we were moved towards the boardwalk where on the right side we saw penguin burrows their houses there are three types of tickets available general viewing which is the cheapest and the most crowded therefore second is penguin plus and the most expensive is underground viewing because you have the penguins at your eye level the entire day trip will cost you 9000 with the first one 11 with the second one and 13000 inr rupees with the underground viewing we waited for almost 1 1 and a half hours for the penguins to show up and come to us from the pacific ocean and it became very dark before the superstars arrived you have to keep your flash off otherwise your phone will be confiscated and it will not be returned to you one of the things that i really love about australia how they are concerned about the nature this is my view ensure you run so that you get the first seats you have to walk very fast otherwise you will be seated very behind and you will not be able to get a good view of the penguins unless you are in the underground this was the end of the trip hope you guys have found this video informative and uh, share this with your friends and family who are visiting melbourne and who are planning so you know this basically helps them out in planning better while they are traveling and i am going to be traveling to a lot of countries very soon so just hit the subscribe button to get more information and the mistakes to avoid while you are traveling